Come here. Come on, a little closer. Just a little bit closer. Just a little bit closer. I want to introduce you to my new best friend. Hi, in case we haven't met, I'm Darcy. I'm your dehydrating BFF that's telling you the good, the bad, and the ugly about everything about dehydrating. I want to encourage you to dehydrate more food for your family to stock your pantry in times of need or in times of surplus. This is my Excalibur 6 tray digital performance dehydrator that I purchased about six months ago and I absolutely love this machine and I want to tell you a little bit about it because I know that everybody's interested in the new things that are coming out and whether or not they're actually any good. I'm telling you Excalibur did a great deal on this machine. So let's get started. It has an oven opening door just like this. It does set this way, which I love because as I'm coming in to put something in, if I'm not quite ready, I can just set it down on this door. I wouldn't put weight on the door, but a tray full of food is fine. Or you can slide, let me do this. It's a little hard here. You can slide this door all the way back in the machine and it's completely out of the way if you need it to be that way. The door closure here is magnetized, so it's so much easier than trying to manhandle a tray, uh, a door that you have to get on that lip and get it right. I have dropped that thing so many times. I love that this is a quick open. It doesn't swing and get in my way from the side swing hinge here. I just drop this down, put my stuff in, flip it up, and it's closed. Each of the trays just slides in just like a normal tray. It comes with a drip tray. This is not a machine that tries to tell you that the fruit leather tray is really a fruit leather tray when you know that you use it once, it's gonna warp it. It's not really good for that. It is a drip tray so that you can slide it on the inside and it helps protect the bottom of your machine whenever you're doing things that might drip. You can just pull it out, wash it off, and you're good to go. It is a six tray machine. It is the same size as the Excalibur nine tray machine. It's 9.6 square feet of dry space. It's the exact same size. I mean, you could put your Excalibur plastic trays in here from those bigger machines. Um, and it's a square tray so that when you're putting it into your machine, I don't know if you've had a machine that's done this before, that you try to put it in this way and realize, oh, it's the wrong way. I've got to turn it and put it in that way. It's square, no matter what way you put it in, it's gonna fit. It is 600 watts. It runs from 85 degrees to 165 degrees. But before we start talking about how to program the machine, let me show you the coolest feature ever. Do you see that? Can you see what I'm doing here? I know you're getting some glare from my under cabinet lighting, but look at that. This window is the thing that makes this machine so awesome. You have the ability to look at your food while it's drying to see how well it's drying without ever having to open your door and get any of the blowback that you get with some machines that don't have a pause feature or you just forget to pause it first before you're checking anything. You don't have to do that. You can look through the window and see exactly what's happening right here. I think that's such a cool feature of this machine. Okay, to program your machine, you simply turn it on and you can choose the time feature and you can just run this as much time as you think that you need. Remember, time doesn't matter when you're using a dehydrator because things are dry when they're dry, not by the time that's there. So just use this as a general window. To set the temperature, you just hit the temperature button. And for me, a quick tip is it just, if you hit the up button, it goes right to the bottom of the temperature scale or you can just go here and change it that way and go down to whatever you need. Holding it steady will change the time, I mean the time and temperature much faster. Then you just hit your start button. Now what happens with these dots here, the lights that come across the top, they will start reducing the longer that your run is so that you can get a visual idea about how much time you might have left. It does not tell you when your food is dry, but it tells you how much time has passed with a quick visual. Okay, and for those of you that don't live in the United States, uh, the only backwards country there is for this. When you do your temperature and you need to change this, if you just hold that button, it will switch to Celsius and all will be right with the world. This is an 80 hour timer. So you can set this out for a couple of days, like days, and you'll have plenty of time. There's no need to stop it, to rest it. It will run the full time without you having to do that. Now you can hear the sound of this. It is not the quietest machine, but it is right there just above what the quieter machines are. But compared to an Excalibur old, the 3900s, the older plastic models that have been around forever, the step down in the amount of noise that you hear with this thing is tremendous. It is really pretty quiet. There's also a variety that is in a cafe door open where it opens in the middle and opens out on either side both in a six tray and 10 tray version. It does not have the glass top, and so it's a little less expensive. Um, the price for this 
is a little on the higher side, but it's Excalibur. They're not always going to be the cheapest model available, but if you wait for those sales, then you can get it a little less expensively. Okay, how does this compare with all the other machines that I've used? I probably used about 15 different food dehydrators over the course of the time that I've had this channel that I test out so that you can know what dehydrators work, what dehydrators don't work, or their quirks and their great points. So I'm going to point some of that out to you. This machine runs as well as every other machine out there on the market. It is Excalibur, so it has an, a bigger name brand behind it, although it's not the same construction that they're older, but the 3900 series and some of the older models that they've had, uh, this is not the same construction. This is a stainless steel construction with a powder coating on it, so that's why you see black. It's got stainless steel trays on the inside. They do provide one mesh sheet, uh, and that's it, and the drip tray. There are no fruit leather sheets that come with it, and you would have to order more mesh sheets, but they're pretty inexpensive on Amazon, and they will fit this just fine. The thing I love about this is that for not much more space that it takes up on my dryer, I get 9.6 feet of drying space. That means with the same six trays that I had in Kasori, I get a lot more drying space than I have here, but this does give me a chance to dry more things at one time. Now, like all Excaliburs, there is a little issue with tray clearance. So if you were doing greens like this that you didn't have chopped up, what you would want to do is not take out every other tray like, like we used to do in the past. That was kind of the tip to do is just take out every other tray, but it's kind of defeats the point of trying to dry a lot. What I do is take extra mesh sheets, put it on top of the tray, I push it down and run it into the machine. And I do that on every tray so that the greens don't pile up and then start coming off the back of the machine. And it just helps keep them down so that you can use all of your trays. People always ask about the gap in the door. Uh, even with the Excaliburs that had the old door that you set on the top, uh, it has a lip on the top and you do it, there's always a gap on the inside. That is part of the way that it draws in air and then pushes it out, that you have that air circulation going. So yes, there's a little bit of a gap here on the door. It's supposed to be there. That's a good thing. Now, there are a couple of things about this machine that are a little quirky, just like every machine has its own little quirky things. Right here along this line, you might even see a little bit of it right here. When I'm dehydrating, I dehydrate a lot of stuff and I'm moving food in and out of the machine. Crumbs can get stuck in this little groove here. And what I find really helps me is that I just use a little bottle brush and it will take it right out and it's no problem whatsoever. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. If you already have a machine that you love, do I recommend running out to get this? Absolutely not. There is no reason to replace a machine that you already love with this because you have something that works for you. But if you're looking for a new machine, you love the Excalibur line and you want to stick with their, their machines, this food dehydrator is now my choice of dehydrators just because it works so well for me. Now one question people are gonna ask, is this made in the USA? No, it is not. Most dehydrators anymore are not made. Even the components that go in the, in the Excaliburs that are claimed to be made in the USA some of those components are coming from outside the country. Um, that is just the nature of how, uh, of how manufacturing works now. Um, while they, Nesco and Excalibur say that all of their machines are made within the U.S., sometimes the, the components that go inside the machine for the electronics might not be made here, but the machine cases are. Anything else you want to know about this machine, be sure to leave a comment down below because I will answer any questions that you have about it. I've been running this thing long enough that I am really happy with how it's turned out. I love that I bought it. I'm glad that I bought it. If you'd like to see me review some other machines so that you can kind of get an idea about what you might like to purchase for yourself, watch this video right, this video series right here where I do dehydrator reviews so that you understand how each work and how they work, sometimes comparing them, comparing them together, sometimes just on their own. These are reviews based off what I use in my home dehydrating foods for my family. They're not simple reviews just to do a review. Um, these are the machines that I buy, that I use, that I then show you what they're like. Um, so watch that. And until I see you again next time, remember, nevertheless, she preserves. Okay, it's time for me to put this in the laundry room and get started on my next project that you'll see next time. See you later.